Hello. This video is about various boiler mountings, which include different bolts, their location, internals, working, and their uses. Boiler drum is a high pressure vessel which separates steam from water with the help of drum internals. After separation, steam is sent to superheaters for further heating, and water is sent to the distribution header through downcomers, and the cycle is thus repeated. We have already covered the boiler drum in our previous videos. In this video, we will see various mountings and accessories of the boiler. Boiler mountings are mechanical devices mounted on the surface of the boiler. These are necessary for the boiler to op operate smoothly and safely. We will discuss some of the mountings like safety valve, stop valve, feed check valve, blow off cock valve, fusible plug, water level indicator, and pressure gauge. First, we will discuss safety valves. The most commonly used safety valve is spring loaded safety valve. Its main function is to relieve pressure automatically when pressure at the inlet side of the valve exceeds the preset value. Excessive pressure inside the boiler can be hazardous to the extent that it can lead to boiler explosion. Therefore, it is mandatory to mount requisite number of safety valves at various locations, like on the top of the boiler drum, final superheater outlet, reheater inlet and outlet. Numbers of safety valves depend on capacity and type of boiler. It is made up of cast iron body. Under normal conditions, the valve is kept on its seat by spring pressure in downward direction and remains closed until spring pressure is greater than steam pressure in the upward direction. When boiler starts to overpressure, the valve discharges small amount of steam, which is called simmering. This is a warning sign which indicates that the boiler is getting overpressured. When steam pressure exceeds set pressure, the upward pressure of the steam becomes greater than that of the downward pressure of the spring. Resultant upward force lifts the valve in upward direction and opens it with a popping sound. In this way, the excess steam is released out of the boiler, and when pressure drops below the set pressure, the valve comes back to its original closed position. Next comes the stop valve, which stops or regulates the flow of steam as per requirement. It is usually mounted at the junction of the top of the boiler drum and steam pipe leading to the steam turbine. That's why main steam stop valves are also known as junction valves. Similar valves are fixed at various locations of steam pipes to stop or regulate the flow of steam. When boiler is under shutdown or steam is not required, the hand wheel is rotated which moves the spindle attached with valve in downward direction. Valve sits on valve seat and closes the path, which stops the flow of steam from boiler to steam pipe. Under normal working conditions, the valve is kept opened and steam flows from the boiler to the steam pipe, leading to the turbine through superheaters. Next is feed check valve, which is an NRV type valve mounted on the boiler drum body below the normal level of water. It controls feed water volume entering the boiler drum through feed pump and also prevents its reverse flow from boiler drum to feed pump.
It mainly consists of a non-return valve, that is feed valve, check valve, water inlet pipe, outlet pipe, spindle attached with wheel. Here, the inlet pipe receives water through feed pump. An outlet pipe delivers water to the boiler drum. When water level in boiler drum comes below the optimum level, boiler feed pump starts supplying water. It increases pressure at the inlet side of feed check valve and reduces pressure at the outlet side, that is the boiler drum side. This pressure difference lifts non-return valve from its seat and allows water to flow to boiler drum. Hand wheel is rotated to move the check valve up or down which controls amount of feed water entering through it. On the other hand, when there is adequate water in boiler drum, pressure at boiler drum side increases, then non-return valve is pushed down due to high pressure and fits on its seat. This closes the valve and stops the feed water supply. Thus, it prevents backflow of water to pump side. So we can say feed check valve works according to pressure difference across its inlet and outlet. There comes another valve which is known as blow-off cork valve. It is mounted at the lowest part of the boiler drum and other tubes containing water. Its main function is to discharge mud, scale and other sediments deposited in the bottom part of the water space. Blow-off cork valve facilitates removal of waste and sediments without stopping the boiler operation. It allows rapid lowering of water level in the boiler if accidentally it becomes too high. It consists of a casing having two flanges at their ends. One is attached to the boiler drum, while other is attached to outlet pipe carrying blow off water. For isolating inlet and outlet pipes, it has a plug with a hole in it. Complete valve body is attached with a rotating mechanism. During normal working, when blowout is not desired, valve is kept in closed condition by rotating it such that solid part of plug comes in line with the outlet pipe. In this position, there is no discharge of water from boiler. On the other hand, when blowout of sediments is desired under boiler in working condition, the plug of blow off cork is turned in such a way that the hole in the plug comes in line with the outlet pipe. In this position, the water from boiler rushes out from the bottom of the boiler drum, which removes sediments, scale and other deposits. After required blowout, discharge of water is stopped by turning plug in previous position. That's all in boiler mountings. Press the bell icon for notifications and stay tuned.